Stargazer is finally here and she's really good and so let me talk about all that you need to know her skills how to play her her crime brands right now in the Stargazer guide let's go so to start let's talk about her skills her kit what does she do so firstly her ultimate will summon a victory star on the target square that will inherit 30% of her HP, 100% of her attack, and deal 130% magic damage around the star at level 1, with the maximum number allowed of these stars being 2. So this is her bread and her butter. This is why you will use her, as these little stars can deal some really nice damage, especially on maps that funnel enemies through a single lane, you can absolutely shred them. These stars are permanent, they can block one enemy, although due to its low HP you ideally want it placed in a spot that enemies won't be able to attack it. But now her first passive states that when dealing multiple damage to the same enemy in a short period of time, the star's damage will be increased and this can stack 5 times. So pretty much if you place 2 stars together, they'll be able to deal multiple damage to the same enemy. And so you can stack this up really fast and deal some high amounts of damage once you've obtained max stacks. Her second passive states that when victory star disappears, it will deal magic damage to all enemies around it. There's a few ways for the star to disappear. Firstly, if an enemy kills it, if stargazer dies, or if you try to place another star down while you already have two on the field, it will get rid of the first one you placed. This is quite nice, it helps her deal some good burst damage rather than the usual sustained damage. And while it may seem a little hard to trigger, this will change once you unlock her Mania Intensify, which will allow you to trigger this passive twice, which can be really nice when you have some mobs that you need to burst down or AoE down. And this helps a lot as killing the star can be awkward but overall that's her kit the sort of play style of stargazer is pretty much get to your ultimate as fast as possible so you can place down these stars and start having that constant damage source it will help so so much especially in maps that have a lot of mobs she can become one of the best aoe casters in the game now as far as those shackles go, they're pretty standard. 1, 3, and 5 will increase the summon damage by 8%, which is okay. But then her shackle 2 will increase the damage of the start by 20% after 10 seconds on the field, which upon seeing seems a bit counterintuitive as her second passive encourages you to destroy the star for burst damage, but then this encourages you to keep it on the field. So this is where her mania intensify skill comes in clutch as you'll be able to activate the passive burst without destroying destroying it, meaning you'll also get this shackle bonus, which is a big increase in damage. Now her shackle 4 will return 5 energy when you destroy a star, this is okay, it means that when you destroy one, you'll be able to place the next one much much faster. But now, moving on, we reach her crime brands, and which ones should you be running on her? So in the early game, the Syndicate's Glory 3 piece will be your best bet. This will provide the best bang for your buck a nice increase in magic damage. Now for the late game you'll want tuning zero in the first slot, hope in the second slot and creation in the third slot. This setup will not only help gain that energy to use your ultimate with tuning zero and hope but will also increase your stars' damage with the third slot creation. Now as far as your exclusive crime brand goes, it's pretty good, it will give you another ultimate that will deal AoE damage around Stargazer and her stars for 8 seconds, pulsing every second. Overall it's quite nice, it will help her burst down enemies much easier, but you will need to be aware of the positioning of not only her stars, but herself as well. So let's now go over her pros and cons, so you can get a better idea of whether to pick her up or not. So firstly, we have a great sustained damage. This is mainly through her ultimate, which will constantly damage enemies around her, which is very good, as you can just place these stars down and forget about them. These also have great AoE damage, which is extremely good on maps that have many mobs, as it can absolutely shred them given the correct positioning. Thirdly, she has also a decent burst damage through her second passive and her exclusive crime brand. And yes, while she is mainly known for her sustained damage, she can still output a good amount of burst. And this is especially helpful when you have an enemy that may be too tanky for your stars alone to deal with. Finally, she's a uh, pretty damn hot. Nice. As for the cons of Stargazer, the biggest one is that she cannot deal core damage. This hurts quite a bit as especially in the late game many stages require you to have characters that can deal core damage so this can hurt her viability in these stages secondly she is a bit map restrictive and what i mean by this is that she won't be to her utmost usefulness 
on all maps due to how her ultimate works and so running other arcane characters may be better depending on the situation as well as the fact that overall I'd say she's a bit harder to play than most characters as most characters are just use ultimate once it comes off cooldown with stargazer you have to be a bit more wary of the stars' position when to kill them when to use a passive skill when to use your exclusive crime brand to get the best damage possible but now overall stargazer is a great character while i don't think she's quite at the level of someone like erin i still think that given the right map can be an exceptional sinner due to her great aoe damage and so if you do decide to pick her up then let me know how you're finding her down in the comment section below if you have any questions about stargazer then also let me know and as always i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time peace